Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2019. Today we are going to start off by doing a review and tutorial of the Kristen S Soft Wave Curling Iron. It is a one and a quarter inch. I got this one for Christmas. I asked for it. My brother got it for me and I was really excited to use it. I usually use a GHD curling iron, but GHD is expensive. It works really well. There's no really downside besides the price. Um, the GHD, depending on the size, runs um, anywhere from $199 and up. Um, so I wanted to try this because I thought it was a really good option for people. It's a little bit more affordable. The one that I have is um, retails for 50 bucks. It has four different heat settings, 325, 365, 400 and 425. For those of you with finer hair, you want to use the lower heat. For you with more coarse hair, you want to use higher heat. So for me, I have thick hair, so I use the 365. It definitely lasts. I don't really have to recurl it for like two days if I leave them in. It's really pretty. It's white, clean with gold. And inside the box she gives you a comb. It has um, universal voltage so you can travel with it and use it pretty much anywhere and it also has an auto shut off because if you're like me and you leave the house and you're like in the car driving somewhere oh shit did I leave my curling iron on <laughs> which I think is really good. It has a nine foot cord which doesn't really matter to people who don't do hair but when you do hair and you like have this teeny tiny cord it's really annoying to have to turn your client or move them around. So I really like that. As you guys know, I do hair for a living. So I will be bringing this into the salon and using it on my clients as well. So I'm really pumped about that. And I can get a couple extras without feeling like I shelled out so much money for it. So I'm just gonna do an everyday pretty waves, um, just something that you can wear out that's still pretty modern. Um, I don't see like the perfect little ringlets coming back soon so I've still been leaving the ends out on my clients and on myself um, so I'll show you guys how to do that so you get a lot of volume and a lot of um, body in your hair. The tools that you'll need will be a brush or a comb. I already brushed mine out. I have a little dry shampoo and my roots, um, a clip to get things out of your way, the curling iron obviously. And hairspray if you wanted to at the ends, but not completely necessary. So I'm going to turn it on. 65. It gets hot really quickly. And I'll just section out my hair. Starting from the bottom, working up. And I always tell my clients, if it takes you more than 15 minutes to do your hair, especially curls, you're doing too much. Curly hair looks better when it's kind of lived in and you don't see these like perfect little ringlets um, unless that's a specific look that you want but for every day it does not need to take you an hour to curl your hair so what I do it doesn't have to be perfect is I split everything in half so half my head here we're just gonna get that out of there or whatever split it right down the middle and like below the ears it can be like separated so the size of your section doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be even or anything what I'm gonna do is go backwards and forwards so the first one I'm picking up I'm kind of starting right off the base and then twisting it back wrapping it around if your hair is shorter you won't have to do as many twists but it's already hot. It gets hot pretty quickly, so you don't have to wait for too long. And I'm just checking it. As soon as it's hot, I just release it. Because it does not need to be burning. You don't need to have it on your hair for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to go the opposite way. What this is going to do is keep what this is going to do is keep the curls from sticking to each other. Sometimes you see people that have curls and at the end of the day you have literally two curls facing the opposite way, like one this way, one the other way.
back again the other way. You lose all the volume so it's like flat here but then you have all these waves down here. I have done my hair like that all facing one way with this one and it only works because I have shorter layers but if your hair is all one length you're literally gonna be like straight from your roots to the middle and then curly just on the ends. So again, just checking it. And sometimes I'll drag it kind of through the ends a little bit so it gets a tiny bit of bend, but not completely necessary. Like that dragging it. You don't want to mess with it. Don't touch it when it's hot because you can take the curl out. You just want to let it set and stay there so it can last you all day long. Uh, this side I'm only going to do two. Since this side I can grab it like this, um, it's easier for me to twist it. And you still want to do it vertical, not horizontal. That will change the curl. So I'm just going to pick it up and twist it backwards and forwards. Sorry if you guys can't see my face through this, but I still want to keep the same shape. That's why I don't want to, there we go. And then we will go on to the next section. One of my pet peeves is when People will curl their hair, but don't brush their fingers through it. Oh, just like, it hits a nerve. I just want to like, you know, like right through their hair. Just because I'm like, shake it out. Give it some body. Give it some movement. Like, brush it out. Like, if brushing it is not going to make it go anywhere. And I always call those like the quinceanera curls. Like, back in the day, everybody at their quinceanera, when they would curl their hair, would hair spray it up like aquanet all over and then straight up just like oh it would get like crispy it was like not good at all for your hair but it was like so crispy it wouldn't move um, I'm just gonna keep going like back and forth this side so now I'm just doing same thing The only thing that I find annoying for me about this curling iron is that I like to rest my hand inside here, like right where the on and off button is, and I always end up changing the heat on accident, so then I have to go back and go through all of it and do it again. But other than that, I have no... No complaints. I really like it. I think it's a really well done tool. Especially for being a drugstore product and company. And um, I've actually really liked most of her line. And if you know me, you know that I live at Target. So... It's real easy to go pick it up. Like I am in there at least like three times a week. I'm just gonna get some of that out of my way. So here, starting pretty close to the root. And like I said, we're still just kind of leaving the ends out. I'm curious who got everything they wanted for Christmas. I feel like I got everything that I wanted and more this year. I must have been really good. 2018, I was really good. Uh, my family thinks that I'm so picky and hard to shop for. But really, if you look at my Pinterest, you can see everything that I like. So it's not that hard. Or I'll just tell them, hey, I want this. <laughs> 
like here's the link. The um, Kristen S also makes a flat iron that you can also use it to curl. There is a hot comb for um, people who have like curly or wavy hair that want to get their roots a lot smoother. Um, I have baby hairs, but they're not enough for me to like really feel like I need that. But maybe for my clients, I'll get one because I do have a couple curly haired girls that will straighten it every once in a while. Really, I separate it into like four sections because I do have a lot of hair. Please, ex like this does not have to be perfect. This is not going to be cute at all. And then I just split it down the middle. It's like one side. The other side and so this side since I did this forward I'm gonna do the front one to the back and then the middle one forward and then the one in the back back again if that makes sense so like this one's going forward so we'll do this one back usually a rule that we use is um, everything close to your face you want away from it like you're walking through a fan or you're Beyonce and you just always have a fan on you um, is usually the best look but sometimes I feel like if for longer hair if you have everything away from the face it starts to look like a little ferrofosity and not that that's a bad thing but if that's not the look that you're going for it's like oh no not cute oh, I can split that one so my hair looks fine because I have so many layers and it's so long but basically I have hella hair in the back and a little bit up front like in front of my ears I don't have that much plus the layers also kind of make it look a little finer and then this one again the opposite way Like, I just clicked that button as I turned it. Like, it, I rest my finger there or something. Also, the GHG makes this really cool noise. Like, it's a lightsaber. So, I love that. I wish this one did that. Sorry, my bangs are coming out. Let's just pretend those bangs aren't there. So twisting it back, sorry that cord's like in the way. Are you guys changing your hair color this year? New year, new hair? If you are, let me know what you're changing it to or what you have now. I think that this year there's gonna be a lot of people cutting their hair off. I can feel it coming. Last year I had a lot of people growing it out. Like people who have had pixies for a long time, like growing it out. So I thought that was kind of cool and kind of seeing how their hair evolves as it grows. And like you get pixie and then you get like this really awkward shape. And sometimes it'll even get like a little droopy in the back. Um, and then you can get a bob. And now bobs are so fun that they're not like these super structured um, A-line bobs or Sassoon bobs. Um, there's a lot more movement and a lot more stuff you can do with it. You can do these waves with like textured bobs and all that. So, and now last section. We're just gonna split it right down the middle. And here, since I have short layers, it's so much faster for me. Um, I still want to do, I know last one here we did it back, but since I have bangs here, I still want to do those towards the back because curling it in is not cute. And we'll do this and then we'll keep going back and forwards back here. So this back one, okay. 
and I always keep moving the curling iron. Like I only let it sit for a little bit because sometimes people get those really harsh lines in there and that's because they're not like opening and closing it. So you can see my thumb moving a little bit and then drop it off. And always holding on to the piece that you're using just so you don't get lost. Letting it sit for a second. And then that last piece, which is actually my bangs that won't grow out, that are taking forever. Like, why you, when you want something to grow, it doesn't. But when you don't want it to grow, it like won't stop. So I'm twisting that back. And another thing that I like about it is it has this little tip here because I'm so used to just like holding on to that on shorter sections. Oh, this side looks crazy. So same thing on this side. We'll do like backward, forward, backward. So twisting it back. We're getting my bangs here. They're so annoying. Like grow. It's I had them for almost a year, so I'm kind of over them. Oh yeah, we're doing this way. I'm still checking. You sometimes I just know like from working like how many seconds to leave it. Like I just have an instinct or something of like when they're ready. But make sure you guys check every single section at home like you're touching it. And then we're doing back away from my face. And like the bangs don't need to be a perfect they could just be kind of like, but not like a perfect curl. So now we're gonna turn it off. Okay, and now that we are done curling, you just wanna make sure everything's cooled down a little bit. Like let it set. Even if you have to like go get ready, do your makeup or something, just leave it alone until you're ready to leave the house. And I found my comb. It's just really pretty. It's kind of like a translucent, like pink kind of comb. And this was the free gift in the bag. And you just want to comb it through. And like, I like to just shake it up. That's it. I just like to shake it up. I'll do a little dry shampoo uh, or something to give it a little bit of a lift at the root. So I definitely give the Kristen S soft wave curling iron one and a quarter inch a 10 out of 10 I don't see anything wrong with it it works really well it holds the curl very well it gets hot quickly the long cord is really useful for hair stylists as well the color is good packaging was good and it's super affordable like you cannot beat 50 bucks and the coating on it it's like a titanium so this, I don't think it's going to get messed up or start peeling off or anything. You want to make sure you take good care of your tools and they will last you years. So making sure you clean in between. If you have hairspray or any product, like using a little bit of alcohol on them um, with a towel is really good. Yeah, that's it. I loved using this. Let me know if you guys want to see any other kinds of hair tutorials and make sure if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, you do so below and I'll see you guys later.